James Banks here for Definitive Esports and I'm here with Dignitas Dream. We're here at the I-46 tournament. Now, we haven't caught up with each other for a little while. You've been in China. Yeah. Um, what have you been up to in China? Uh, I've been like uh, play and practice for a month and then I went to like Shenzhen, one of the biggest city in China and work for QPAD. Oh. They just recently got the office in, chi in China. So I helped them for, for a month and then just came back. Yeah. And what, what were you involved in while you were out there? Were you helping with like product design or um, just helping them get started in China? Part of product design, like I, I tell them like the feedbacks and then the, the main part is like the, the esports marketing. Yeah. yeah, the plan, we make a plan. Yeah. Yeah. So um, do you think that's something you're going to pursue maybe when you finish being a pro gamer? Do you want to go do a similar job? Yeah, definitely. It's going to be feel much better than you do like a normal job. Yeah. It feels good. So while you're out in China, have you been um, practicing a lot with uh, Koreans and stuff? Is you much easier access to the Korean server? Yeah, true. I was practicing in Korean server, but like they have different styles. I got used to like Euro style and the Korean style, so I just mix a little bit up. So yeah, I always like try to cheat sometimes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just like, like I did to Fargo. Uh, any particular practice partners that you had out there? And did you find anything really hard? Mm, not really, because the first month I was practicing with Parting and uh, Tails, I don't know if you know oh, yeah. him, MVP Tails, he's like very best friend of mine. And Tails and Parting, they are really good friends, so okay. I introduced Parting to practice with me. Yeah, they're really good players, yeah. really mannered and yeah, good people. So um, how much do you think that's helped your experience now and uh, you increase your skill level practicing with these players? Yeah, they are really much better and they just teach me how to do and uh, really I got a lot from them. Okay. Thanks for them. Um, do you expect to like uh, go back out to Korea or maybe also go from rather than in China but play in Korea and practice out there given your new friends? Of course, if I were in China, I would practice on Korean server. That's like every, every like Chinese pros do. Yeah. Uh, do you have any plans maybe to practice in Korea in a Korean pro house at all? Oh, that's you're gonna ask Odi. Ah, okay, Odi. <laughs> <laughs> so we gotta tell Odi that you wanna go to a Korean pro house and he can send you. <laughs> so looking at the I-46 tournament here, you've finally overcome Fargo and we know last time when I interviewed you, you didn't like him because of his manner. Um, was he still bad manner this time or did you just ignore him and beat him with pure skill? No, I didn't really talk to him a lot, but I, I'm trying to get him as a friend, so because uh, I, I, I don't think he's like really BM because people lo people get angry when they lost. So um, this time I didn't really use my skill; I just chased him two game. So you've got now Johnny Rico on your team, and you've had Bling on your team for the past eight, well, yeah, since you've joined. Um, have you been practicing with these guys much? Uh, not yet, because I just. Came back from yeah from China. I think we're gonna practice a lot after this event. Now, what do you, what do you think for Johnny Rico? A lot of people have been saying he's like one of the best in the UK now. Would you agree with that? From what you've seen? Yeah, definitely. He's one of the best, but he's still young. Yeah. And he like I, I heard from somewhere like he was like really upset like last time I beat him. I for five. Yeah. So I think he, he'll be like one of the best in Europe. So for yourself at this tournament, what are your expectations? Where are you hoping to finish? Like the first stage gonna be like, I, I want Dignitas to get like top three. Yeah, so like me, Bling, Johnny Rico, that's the first step. So uh, I got like beat three more people and then, then of course first place. Yeah. Um, yeah. Cool. So if you were to win a tournament like this, what would you do with the prize money? Well, I don't think it's a proper time to think about the money. <laughs> Yeah, let's just play first. <laughs> okay, well, maybe if you win, then we'll ask you again what, what you do with that. Yeah. Now, um, coming away from this event, do you have any plans, trip like uh, trips planned for Europe it, events, like DreamHack maybe? Yeah, maybe, still. Like this last question, you ask Odi. Are you gonna <laughs> <laughs> So we have to wait on Odi for all these answers. Yes, yes. Okay. Well, you're a very mannered um, player, you're, and you're very friendly with everyone here. Um, do you think that helps you with, uh, like, getting practice partners easily like you just said you practice well in China and stuff like that yeah I have a lot of people like would like to practice with me maybe it's because I'm a okay decent people and I think because I'm like the only Chinese here 
it's very hard to like get involved in everyone so I'm trying my best to get everyone as a friend yeah is there anything you'd like to say to the players on camera now who might watch this well Dignitas fighting we're gonna get top three <laughs> okay well thank you very much for this your time and thank you for the interview hopefully we'll catch up with you later on in the tournament and see how well you do thank you for the interview it's all right thank you very much uh, it's been James Banks here for Definitive Esports check out the rest of our i46 coverage for the whole of this weekend and Keep rooting for our man here, Dream, who very handsome, very friendly, and good luck. <laughs>